Hi, Acadian. I'm Dave Baker. It's Tuesday, October 4th. Here's a look at news making headlines this morning. Good evening, Lafayette High family. Today we had a lockdown on campus to keep everyone safe while law enforcement investigated a threat. Students patiently cooperated and that allowed the authorities to do their job quickly and efficiently. Please remind your student that any and all threats, verbal or written on social media, will be taken seriously and have hefty consequences. A stern warning from the school system as the investigation into a threat at Lafayette High continues. Like the first threat, the second threat mentions students and staff by name. The school was placed on lockdown around 9 o'clock Monday morning while police were on campus investigating. An anonymous 911 call reported that there was a student on campus with a gun. Police later tied that phone call to a Lafayette High student who is now facing a terrorizing charge. Another juvenile was arrested for trespassing, accused of walking onto campus during the lockdown. The source of the initial threat is still under investigation. Well, we wanted to know how departments are affected after receiving these threats. Our producers speaking with several sheriff's offices and they say the size of the building will determine the amount of officers and equipment needed based on the type of threat and other resources could be called in to assist. This also puts a strain on departments because they're having to move resources around. We've spoken to law enforcement on several occasions in recent weeks following threats made to schools and they tell us that they take every threat serious and will arrest and prosecute whomever made the threat. Sergeant Robin Green with the Lafayette Police urging parents to speak with their children about social media. And we continue the conversation of how to talk to your children. Social worker Leon Winters saying every situation should be looked at on an individual basis. Whenever we're looking at people carrying out these things or people, you know, doing such hard things that are law in the public that we are really diligent on focusing on the individual um, at place, you know, that's really carrying out such, you know, such actions. Again, classes will be held at Lafayette High today as police investigate now two threats circling on social media. There will be additional police and administration on campus. Students should expect to be screened through metal detectors. Well, we're getting temperatures up to about 85 degrees a little later on today, and we are going to be getting a layer of clouds out there. High level clouds. I don't think anything that's producing rainfall, so we should stay dry today. And I don't think the complete unfiltered blue skies we've had the last couple days. 86 for tomorrow and 88 by Thursday. We are gradually warming up. A little bit more moisture gets into the area as we do go through the work week. I think we could see temperatures return to about 90 maybe by Friday. The rest of the weekend should be pretty good, though. I think hot out there for Saturday, a few clouds Saturday, and then clearing out by the end of the weekend. 